Noticias. About two and a half years ago, so it was April 2013. It's really great, I really love it here, and of course, uh, you know, this, it's the biggest place in the world for basically the hardest style, so it, it's where you want to be if you want to make it a career, and luckily I've been able to do that. It is, and I always think, how did I do it? Because I'm the type of person that would really hesitate at, at such a big thing, like, you know, yeah, leaving everything behind and, and the risks and all that kind of thing. But I just talk myself into it and I'm like, nah, I have to at least give it a shot. I think mostly after the event, because it was the first edition, I guess, yeah, there's the excitement of it's a new, it's a first one. But I think after the event, that's when I was like, whoa, supremacy was the shit. I've never performed live before, so my first live set will be at Supremacy. I really like that concept, um, not only of, of, of the variation of the track, but just the whole variation thing in general. The term VIP just really clicked with me, like that variation in production, that variation, and so I thought, delete, delete VIP. Oh, that goes together well. So I think it sums up exactly what I want with the live act and what people will get out of it. If I was to do a delete VIP performances all the time and keep it fresh, I basically won't have time for anything else. So that's the other reason. So I think if I keep it exclusive uh, and keep it special for, for, yeah, for all the fans, then I think, I think it's better that way. As well as reworking older tracks, uh, I do have some new music as well that isn't just focused on the VIP concept. So yeah, that and I've uh, got a few collabs with other artists as well. So for example, I've got a, a release that's, uh, that's coming out next week, uh, Funk and Just Do It. I may uh, put in bits of those into the set. I won't, I, won't, I'm, I may not, but uh, yeah, you'll have to go to Supremacy to find out. <laughs> I haven't done an album yet. I think, naturally, I think people will expect it as my next step. I won't say when, because people will be expecting it at a certain time then, but definitely it's on the card. With more artists coming together and, and trying new things and experimenting and, yeah, evolving their own sound, I think when they all come together, the style just goes up, I think. and. And, and at the core of it, there's still that music that makes you want to move and gives you that power, and that's what Heart, Raw Heart Soul is all about. Because I don't think there's many parties after one edition make such an impact, and Supremacy definitely has done that, and yeah, and it's just going to get stronger, I think. It's not an event that you can just miss out and go to again in, in a month or two. It, it's once a year. It's the second ed edition. I'm also uh, launching Delete VIP for the first time. That won't ever happen again. Like, yeah, Delete VIP might happen again, but the launch, there's only one launch. And so for me, this is definitely going to be the highlight of my career. I, I, I can imagine for, for quite some time. And I want uh, all my fans to, to join me on that. Show, you know, show the world that we mean business because yeah, Raw Hard Style is, is growing, but it's events like these that help it to grow even more and we need as many people yelling and screaming as possible. And yeah, I think if, if you miss out on that, you're missing out on one of the biggest things of the year. So go to Supremacy. <laughs>